What are we going to do today, Gerald? Going to do a pulley rig today. Okay. We will do the, the top hook on the pulley. We won't actually fix it, but if you feel like you need to, you can put telephone wire around it. But what I normally do is wrap it, I will show you in a minute, round the hook. So it's a pulley panel? Yeah, pulley panel, oh, yes. Okay. Right. Right, so we start out, you want about a metre, something like that. Right, we get our Gemini clip. Right, three turns, blood knot. Three. Pull it up using the clip on the rig, on the weight. Pull that up. And then we get a pulley bead. On there, that actually goes to the main line on your rod. Right, now we do a swivel on here. thing using the clip on your lid to pull it up tight lovely right right now our hook lens again we're using black amnesia but we would normally use clear especially for So we use these hooks, we use a big one on the bottom and a smaller one up the line. That's a small one. As I said earlier, you, you can use telephone wire, but I tend not to do that. Right, that just goes through. I'll show you in a minute. Not really for that. The larger hook on the bottom, but obviously you use whatever size hook for the species you're trying to catch. Or, or the bait that you're using. Yeah, or the bait you're yeah. using, yeah. I would definitely crimp the hook, uh, offset the hooks as well. Right. So. By offset, we mean just put a little bit of the cream and the hooking ability is a lot better. This is the top one, which you would not have slightly smaller, actually. Right, so what I was saying about the telephone wire, I tend to just go like that round it for the top hook. You have your mackerel or whatever and just hook that in the end of the mackerel. But you can also use telephone wire or a rubber, um, plastic sleeve over it. Either way is good. The idea of it is, it's a pulley rig. Is, this is how it actually works. You click that on your lead. That one goes to your main leader off your rod. Chris is going to hold that. And then the idea is, it's like that. And then when you actually when it lands that will unclip and then that goes up like that and that's your rig there it's off the bottom slightly so when you've got your fish he's up in the water a little bit and he's not going to go and get in a rock and it's a very good rig for casting as I say you can use whatever size hooks you want and it's clipped right behind the lead, which means it's going to cast a reasonably good distance. So for, for bigger baits in particular? Yeah, it is bigger baits, yeah, and bigger fish like conger eels, rays, yeah. things, smooth hounds, anything really Bass. like that. Your bigger fish, really. Yeah. 
Yeah, and your bass as well. Yeah, but just use your hook size for whatever target species you've got and the size of bait you're using. Hmm. Okay. I, I wouldn't go, what, what breaking strain line would you use on here? Um, as you're going for bigger fish, I probably would go for about 30 pound, yeah. Right. If you're going conger eels, you're going to have to go thicker yeah. than that, I would think. But hmm. Obviously, yeah. 30, 35 pound, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that's it. So that's it. Thanks very yeah. much, Gerald. Shall I cut that?